Okay, we are here at the O2 Institute in Birmingham with Tord from the Wombats. Um, thank you for doing this, by the way. Yeah, no worries. How's it going? <laughs> yeah, pretty good. How's the tour been? Um, it's been it's been fantastic. Yeah, it's been really good. I kick a new light upon shine. Unhinged and you're undone. I'm not getting out of here alive. I brought a lemon to a night fight. So I've got a few questions for you and then we're going to play a little game, if that's okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, so firstly, um, I just want to talk about the songs themselves because a lot of them are based in kind of like quite deep topics you've got like kind of depression love loss and that i was just wondering if there's particular songs that like mean kind of the most to you um i think that, that they're all like uh, as important in their own right and um in whatever topic they m might touch upon you know mm -hmm. whether it's like something that's more serious or, or more like you know uh hum like more like funny or you know mm -hmm. like more humoristic or whatever but um um like for me it's like <clears throat> it's uh, it's difficult to pick yeah. one one in particular because i uh, like in the set now like talking about the new songs i really like playing cheetah tongue for for a completely different reason mm -hmm. too like, i don't know i like it so but it's I getting do. a new reaction as well each yeah time. yeah so but it's, it's just like you know like it depends on how the song the songs feel and it's always mm -hmm. nice to play an old song because yeah. you know you know that you're gonna get a good reaction yeah. you know people know it and gonna you know like for example let's dance to joy division mm -hmm. on moon to new york you know the crowd's gonna yeah. go crazy to it so it's for, it's for, for different reasons so just all um, of them <laughs> yeah yeah no to be honest it, it is a little bit like picking your favorite yeah. child yeah and you wouldn't i mean you maybe have a favorite child <laughs> but you, you wouldn't tell anyone about, about it, it. <laughs> so it's a little bit okay like um so you've also had some like really kind of crazy and interesting music videos so there yeah. was the kind of like crazed fan narrative for greek tragedy yeah and like the exercising older women for cheetah tongue um and i was just wondering uh, what do you think was the most kind of fun or interesting kind of concept to produce um i I really liked Greek tragedy, mm. like when when that kind of came together and how that like you know feels like a pretty much normal music video up yeah. to up to it a hits. certain yeah. point, <laughs> and it's that that massive twist that kind of like turns into a bit of a horror film or you yeah. know something um, something quite brutal. But it, it, yeah, so I really liked that, and then the, the, the um, liking that we wanted to have the same director mm. to do yeah. more videos on mm -hmm. on this album. So that he yeah, the same director director Finn Keenan he did. Oh, um, okay. He did um, Lemon to a Knife Fight. Yeah, I was going to say, because well. they seem really similar, kind yeah. of in their vibes. Same yeah. thing, you know, it has like, you know, this seems to be one thing and then it has a twist yeah. and it kind of goes a bit horror movie, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, B film really cool. style. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so, uh, and he did Cheetah Tongue as well. Oh, okay, cool. So, I, I don't know. I We kind of like, after what I did to Greek Tragedy, we kind of like really trusted the guy. Yeah. Okay, he's, it's clearly video. something that, uh, in his head that yeah. is a bit like, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Like creatively, but he's obviously like, he's super creative. And, and I, I like the fact that he's not always kind of like, you know, completely making sense with mm -hmm. like the song, like Cheetah Tongue. I feel like, you know, it's the most random yeah. music video we ever but made. Still work, but at the though, same yeah. time, I feel like it, it, uh, it's a bit thought provoking and mm -hmm. I feel like it's a, still a bit like, you know, it's funny and a bit like, it's different. I think. Yeah, no. Yeah, so, cool. uh, yeah. Um, okay, so <laughs> when I go on nights out and a DJ is taking requests, I usually kind of request a song by you guys. So I was wondering oh, what is your um, <laughs> go-to you. <laughs> song or artist to dance to on a night out? Um, you, uh, it's all kind of diff <laughs> different ones, really. Um, um, often our heart take on me oh, because yeah. like I'm Norwegian, so we're super proud of our heart. <laughs> Like how like you know this bit you know they are the biggest band yeah. that has ever come from Norway and still are you know although we have like a lot of new kind of DJs and stuff coming out of the like these the days ones. but like it's still our heart that kind of like it's the nice. the pride of Norway so I'm kind of like, seem to be going with that or any like you know Norwegian electronic artist that yeah, I enjoy just or, you know from Norway, you're basically like, yeah just, just like that. anything that can make you feel proud Norway? proud of being Norwegian okay cool <laughs> um, and finally so you obviously spend an incredible lot of time together as a band. And I was just wondering if your relationship has changed since obviously you formed in 2003, were you still kind of just really, really good friends? Or? No, obviously like the, the, in the beginning, we we lived in the same city and mm -hmm. we saw each other much, you went in to much more. To yeah, I went right? to uni. Yeah. I lived in Liverpool for 13 years. I only just recently moved back to, mm -hmm. to Norway. But um, yeah, no, I think like we've always kind of like been getting on, mm -hmm. like having, you know, um, fun whether it's with the music or just on a night out mm -hmm. or like you know 
doing something random yeah like you know it's um and yeah i mean obviously it does change because like we live in different cities yeah. we kind of have like completely different like friend bases mm-hmm. like in the different you yeah. know like the, um and so so that kind of changes as well like you obviously like common. yeah yeah but obviously like yeah and our lives changed as well like in i had a child mm-hmm. and then but then dan's still in london and mm-hmm. kind of like but murph's in la I and mean, he got married there and yeah. to an american girl so it's like all this other like inf- things that kind of influence us but it's somehow it's, it's like it kind of like yeah it kind of it brings if you bring that back and it feels like it can almost like mm. you're probably I mean, you're it, probably in touch more than most uni friends are mm-hmm. so like yeah exactly yeah yeah touch. yeah out of the people i studied with is definitely like yeah. you know cool the two, two okay that, we were going to play... Have you ever heard of Mr. and Mrs.? Do you know the game Mr. and Mrs.? But Dan's not here. So I'm just going to ask... Basically, what it was is I ask you a question, who is the most blah, 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 and then you have to say either one. But I'm just going to ask you the question. You can yeah. just tell me which band member okay, is, okay. it is. Okay, so um, who is the grumpiest on a hangover? That's probably um, me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm, I'll turn into a mute. And <laughs> okay. <laughs> just don't want to see anyone (laughs) i I relate to that (laughs) okay um who is most likely to violate the five second rule and eat something that's been on the floor for longer (laughs) damn (laughs) oh yeah that was a solid yeah yeah yeah. (laughs) oh he doesn't care like he 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 eats it like everything (laughs) (laughs) okay um who has the better fashion sense murph i'd say okay yeah he he's the only one who really cares about it. Fair. <laughs> okay. Um, who is the most annoying to spend prolonged periods of time with? Ooh, I feel like I feel like it's difficult to. Do you just to, love uh, them all? So much? <laughs> very no, but it's like we, we we don't really like because we we spend time on the road mm. together, and just when it's getting to the point that it's enough, mm-hmm. then we kind of have some time off, and then mm-hmm. we go separate ways yeah. for like a few weeks time. or for months or whatever yeah so it's it's never like we're never like enough together to really get okay. annoyed with each okay. other I think. I'll, I'll accept yeah. the answer. <laughs> and uh, finally who has the greatest on stage moves um <laughs> i mean I, I if if i wasn't here like dan would probably say say me because okay. I'm, I'm doing i'm doing this kind of like ridiculous um um kind of like Pop punk right. jump and he takes the piss out of me okay. all the time with that, that uh, which is kind of like yeah i just think it's fun but okay. well, <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't call that i wouldn't call we'll that the best you, move but, but i like i like it murph's kind of like point point the point into the sky okay, yeah that's kind of like a kind of like an iconic yeah an icon yeah, yeah. If you like, yeah. I, 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 I'm, yeah. St- I'm still going to take you as the answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's all I have. Thank you so much for talking to us. It's yeah, no worries. Nice. Thank cool. you. <laughs>